Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 840G11. To see the internals of this premium compact business machine, you have to undo just five Phillips head screws. Pop the rear around the hinge cover with a lever tool. Start with the two spots near the top edges and pry the central zone as well. With that out of the way, the clips on the back should be fully released. Then, pry the sides and the front. On the inside, the bottom plate houses a cooling pad for the W1 slot. The battery is a 56-watt-hour model. To detach it, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws which secure the battery to the base. The capacity is enough for around 12 hours of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Smart Sense mode applied in the MyHP app. The RAM and SSD zones are covered with metal caps. You can remove them by carefully lifting the attached fabric handles. The Wi-Fi 6E card is placed on the top right side of the mainboard. The W1 slot, which is for optional 5G or 4G LTE connectivity, can be seen below the fan. According to HP, the two SODIMs can handle up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Storage-wise, this device offers just a single M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe drive is additionally cooled by a small thermal pad on its top and bottom side. The cooling seems sufficient, especially for a 14-incher that lacks dedicated graphics. The system has a big fan, two long heat pipes, a decently sized heat sink, and a heat spreader. 